What's going on, everybody? It's Stas here. So it's no secret that as of late, the past couple of weeks, really all of March 2021, the stock market's been very rocky. It's been very volatile. It's been like a freaking roller coaster ride. And I want to go over in this video why I believe the stock market could explode in the month of April. And we're already seeing signs of that right now. S&P just hit an all-time high. It's currently up 0.7% today. And I'm going to back this up with historical data. We're going to look at some charts here, look at some historical numbers. So if you all find value, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, go down below, get into the Strive Smart Discord chat, grab two stocks from Webull valued up to $1,850. You could also get $30 from M1 Finance and check out my Patreon. All of those are linked down below. So let's talk. And again, like you can see, the S&P just hit an all-time high about 20 minutes ago, really recently. Actually, just now it hit another all-time high. It's been hitting all-time highs these past couple of minutes. Now we're at 39.87. And maybe we do go to 4,000, 4,050. That is a level, two levels that I've been talking about when it comes to the S&P 500. And 4,000 obviously is a milestone as it is that nice, clean-cut, new, fresh um, thousand, you know, digit, whatever you want to call it. So I want to just break down with you guys now some charts. We'll go over some notes here that I do have on my iPad. So Steven Sutmir, a technical research strategist at Bank of America, notes that the lead up into April is often optimistic for the Bulls. Quote unquote, weak late March seasonality could offer an opportunity for the Bulls ahead of strong early April seasonality, he wrote in a Tuesday report. As quote unquote, the first 10 sessions of April has an average return of 0.88%, 1.12% median, while the last 10 sessions of March has an average return of negative 0.29%. So that goes to show average, we're, we're speaking average here, guys, March is not too great. And you guys can see this chart right here. Let me show you that. All right, guys, so check this out. We're not going to go over every single number here. There's kind of a lot going on, to be honest, but what I want to focus on is look at the average return. You see on the left side, we have the month. On the right of that, we have average return. And first and foremost, let me let me say this first, guys. This is a table that shows the S&P 500 monthly seasonality for the first 10 sessions of the month back to 1928. So keep that in mind. This is what you're seeing right here. An average return for the first 10 sessions of the month for all months is 0.47%. You guys can see that all the way at the bottom of the chart. And if you see in the middle of the chart for the April month, you can see the average return for the first 10 sessions of the month is 0.9%. We mentioned that earlier. The median return is 1.12%. And the percentage of the time up for April is, what is it? 63.4%. And look at April's average return compared to all the other months. It is in second place for the first 10 sessions of the month. And July is by far the best month for the first 10 sessions. The average return is 1.53%. 3% for July. Holy crap, guys. That is incredible. But for April, again, it's 0.9%. So April is the second best month, historically speaking. And pause this, screenshot it, do whatever you want to do. But we can go over everything. It'll be too time consuming. But that is one thing definitely worth watching. And we'll take a look at another uh, screenshot. It's a chart. It's actually a graph, a little uh, you know line graph here. We'll take a look at that in a second. And stocks also tend to perform better at the beginning of the month versus the end for most months, as Sutmir points out. Monthly, quote-unquote, monthly seasonality back to 1928 shows that the first 10 sessions of the month tend to be stronger than the last 10 sessions of the month. The first three months of 2021 have followed this seasonal pattern, he wrote. And historically, like I mentioned, April is the second best month for the stock market 
get behind July, which July has a very big um, first place lead. Let's just put it that way, with 1.5% for the first 10 sessions averaged, you know, out historically. And what we notice on this chart that you guys can see right here, the first 18 days of the month of April, historically speaking, have been the best. I mean, take a look at this chart. This is very interesting stuff. Kudos to whoever put this together. It wasn't me. The source you guys can see down below is LPL Research and uh, Fact Set. You guys can see that at the bottom here. And April is a strong month historically for stocks, it says at the top. S&P 500 index returns in April from 1950 to 2020. This is what it is showing. You guys can see averaged out historically over the past 70 years, that is the return that we're seeing. That is the return day by day by day in the month of April. And you can see by the 10th of April, it's typically at 1% return. By the 18th of April, it's at 1.5%. And then it consolidates, you know, fizzles out a bit and uh, smooths out for the rest of the month after the 18th. And historically, it's at about 1 to about one3 Percent. So yeah, I mean, this is extremely interesting when it comes down to how the markets have done historically. And if history repeats itself, which I'm not saying it's going to, but it looks like it has in the past and odds are it does again. And I'm not saying this for sure, the markets are going to explode. But if history repeats itself, we are in for a pretty solid April. I think we could end up seeing 4,000 4050 on the S&P 500. So I'm very optimistic. I mean, look, I have a good amount of cash on the sidelines, but I am also in offense mode. I'm in I'm I'm playing offense at the same time. I have open positions. I've been buying stocks as of late. So I'm positioned pretty nicely and we have a lot going on right now with the infrastructure bill, Biden, you know, that's 2 trillion dollars something crazy. That's coming out today. More details on that treasury yields have been rising you know that could influence the market in the very short term april as well on top of that inflation is creeping in some say it's here to stay others say it's transitory so there's a lot going on right now and i figured this video would give you some more insight maybe calm your nerves a bit if you've been freaking out in the markets as of late that historically yeah april has been a pretty good month so i hope you you all enjoyed this video hit the like button if you did subscribe to the channel if you want to and make sure to get yourself two stocks from Weeble those are valued up to $1,850 all you have to do is deposit $100 using my link down below and you get those two stocks plus you could also get $30 from M1 Finance by also using my link depositing any amount of money and that's how you get $30 free to invest all of those are linked down below you guys could also check Check out my Patreon if you want real-time buy and sell alerts, call-outs, morning update videos, videos early, you know, earlier in the day, um, exclusive content, access to me. You know, there's a lot going on in Patreon, so check that out. Link down below. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. As always, keep crushing the markets, guys. Stay safe out there. Peace out.